Hey, I want to show you some energy efficiency stuff that I'm doing that I've done this weekend over the Liberty weekend. And um, this is something that I did last year. I did um, this is a type of radiant barrier, but it's got a bubble. It's, it's like a bubble. It looks like bubble wrap. I don't know if you can see it very well through the video, but it's like an eighth of an inch thick, and it's this type of it's a type of radiant barrier. So what I'm going to do today is I've got some R5 insulation. It's one inch thick pink R5. I'm going to add behind this radiant barrier to add a factor of R5 to my garage doors. So this is the Owens Corning. Um, it's R5 foam modular 150. Well, when I did the when I did the radiant barrier, I was able to bend it to fit into these spaces here. But I'm not going to be able to do it with this because it's, it's not it's bendable, so it's going to be a little bit of a learning experience while I do it. So I ended up putting another piece since you can't get it all to fill in that one area. In one piece, I just put, I just kind of patched in a little piece right there. At least this bends. Okay, so I got this whole side done. There's a little bit of breathing room for the rain barrier to breathe between the insulation. And these, it's flat. Flat on this side, and these have a recess, so I may have to do my measurement a little bit differently. Flat on one side, there's no place to shove this rain barrier into like it is on this side. I'm just going to put a little bit of this aluminum tape on here. Just to kind of finish it out to make it look really good. These are just the cheap clopay garage doors, the non-insulated, I guess it's called the value series, to cut your insulation. I'm cutting it 21 and a quarter by 44 and a quarter. I'm just kind of pressing it in there and cut a little fill strip from the spot that you can't that you can't get to. So it's pretty much pretty simple. I'm just gonna have to cut this video short because I'm running out of tape. Ah. 